Yeah, good morning, everyone. This is Mr. Chigozier, the anchor of Crystal TV. Uh, here comes uh, the morning rumbles, and uh, trust you are doing great. Well, we are this to discuss this morning on the nagging issues of which, of course, dominate uh, the media that uh, the spokesperson of the supposed uh, Northern Elders Forum uh, in the person of Ahmed or whatever he calls himself made a proclamation that should a Northern uh, extraction emerges as the president of Nigeria comes 2023 that heaven will not fall. Wow, that is very exciting. Indeed, heaven will not fall. Of course, uh, I think uh, I want to use this uh, uh, few minutes to remind him that uh, he should also recall that uh, in the history of Nigeria, uh, precisely in 1967, when Nigeria uh, declared war against the different states, heaven never fall. The war lasted for barely three years and heaven never fall. And the agitation for the sovereignty or the restoration of the Biafran state had been sustained for barely five decades now, and heaven has not fallen. By implication, that simply uh, is a, an ideological war, and I believe that this war is on. It lives as long as life continues. You see, why are we really into this war? Why are the people not happy with the Nigerian system? These are fundamental issues that have not been addressed by an average modern political elite. They, uh, of course, decide to leave in self-deception and denial, trying to cover up the truth over the decades. And that has not in any way either favored them or the other regions. You can understand that having been within the corridor of power for barely 50 years now, the northern people are to be liking as the custodian of poverty. They are the ones in charge of poverty and may want to dish out to other regions as they deem necessary. But they inherited poverty. And poverty have, they are the most stricken region uh, which has been affected by poverty and misgovernance. It's very unfortunate. And, uh, we have not seen the yet uh, the, the worst uh, as it stands now. You can see the the term northwest and northeast has been turned to a killing field, where the Boko Haram and other Islamic apologies are having a free day. Uh, commun communal lives have been disrupted. The economic uh, activities are no longer uh, are viable, are no longer in place. Uh, the north destroying itself by itself is very unfortunate. And uh, uh, the longer the northern people stay within the corridor of power, the more impoverished the north uh, remains, the more backwards economic-wise, uh, educational-wise, and uh, social-wise. So, and they have not uh, come in terms with the reality. Having been within the corridor of power for barely 40 years, what have we gained? Why are we so more impoverished? Why are our people are still suffering the way? Why are we still having the level of poverty? Why are we uh, recognized as the center of poverty in the world? These are fundamental issues, of course, which the northern political elite are shying from. Unfortunately, this is staring at their faces as time goes by. 
But coming to say that if, of course, the northern extraction produces, or northern people produces a northern uh, president comes 2023, that happens will not fall. It is it simply clearly means, of course, they have not learned lesson from the past. And uh, any lesson you do not learn uh, from, of course, uh, any could not uh, be advantageous to you. See, it's very unfortunate that uh, even in this current dispensation, most of the modern schools that we are built to educate and empower the young northern people uh, through education, through Western uh, studies, has been destroyed, disrupted, and totally collapsed by the uh, uh, Islamic apologies who thought the could uh, jeopardize the chances of Jonathan. Imagine the next govern, gov, uh, president of Nigeria, but they never knew that they are just trying to destroy themselves, depriving their people the right to uh, education, the right to self uh, recognition, self advancement, self development. It's very unfortunate. Rather, they use the tenets of uh, is Islam to hold the people to ransom of course which is not subject to reasoning or subject to questioning you see otherwise people should be, be allowed to express themselves and to decide uh, what of course uh, the standing in, in as it has to do with uh, politics or religion but unfortunately such a right has been ceased from the people and it's no longer the right to self-expression uh, and self-actualization is no longer tenable as far as the northern people is concerned now the question is the northern people are not promoting uh, equality before the law by their body language and uh, words or actions they speak volume of the fact that they uh, believe in nepotism, a sectional government, and, uh, and whatever that will benefit them directly, it doesn't matter whether it affects uh, the interests of other regions. This is a supposed democratic setting where everybody is supposed to be given equal opportunity to live out his or her dream, but unfortunately, that is not happening within the country called Nigeria. And uh, it's very unfortunate that we found ourselves in this dilemma. Invariably, what I could deduct from this uh, statement is that the North are pitching their tent against the Southern people. This is a clear war. It's a, it's a, 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 a war, a psychological and a political war that is ongoing, which will not end up in favor of either of the regions. But for me, I will solicit or suggest, if need be, that the northern people should sit down and ask themselves some fundamental questions. What that borders on the and on their past antecedents and activities in governance. Why is it that uh, having been uh, perpetrated themselves within the country of uh, for barely uh, four decades or more, they are not faring better. Uh, they are regarded as the most backward region ever in the history of Nigeria. Even the southern uh, people, or especially the north southeastern region, the suburb level uh, monumental uh, devastation as a result of uh, the aftermath of the war. Uh, which, of course, the Nigerian government promised to reconstruct, rehabilitate, and rebuild the region. They have not lived up to their promises and their expectations as that, um, as the people's expectations uh, are. But unfortunately, you can still understand that despite the, uh, the, the, 
absence of the federal government within the south, old, south let me say the old eastern region the people have they have been able to recover they are been able to move forward you can see that uh, in educationally wise the people are advancing technologically wise we are being driven by ingenuity but what happens to the north who never fought war who never uh, experienced the impact uh, of the war the magnitude of the and the impact of the war was not felt within the northern uh, region and yet there is nothing to reckon with. There is no facility, no, with all the money being embezzled by the northern people uh, and within the corridor of power, both the, the military, whatever, and all that, and the subsequent uh, uh, democratic uh, presidents produced from the north. Why is it that they are still languishing in abject poverty, the most stricken region in terms of em uh, em epidemics, diseases, and all that. You see, the most backward people, despite the catchment and the quota system or concentration given to the northern people to encourage them to become self, uh, uh, to create such self-awareness, self-education, uh, or to give access to self-development. Yet, the north is backward in education, backward in whatever you can think of. But only the best at terrorism, the best at banditry, the best in promoting and in destroying the, the, the essence of life is very really unfortunate. And uh, you can still hear some people parading themselves as the supposed leader of the northern region. You are a leader and you have no leadership of policy, you have no interest of the people at heart. What has the, the, your leadership position? Uh, brought to the fore uh, in favor of the northern people. Nothing, virtually nothing. And you continue to rip them, take undue advantage of the northern, uh, or the, the, the major po population of the northern, uneducated northern people, and they use uh, the instruments of religion to destroy them. It's very unfortunate. Now, if that has to be, I mean, they're not producing the new, uh, the, the present comes in year 2023, that invariably means that we are no longer, the possibility of remaining as one Nigeria may not be feasible. Why at this time? Because people are becoming politically conscious and the uh, awakening, of course, of what the current happens, and that will be vehemently resisted by the people because uh, people are no longer at ease and uh, uh, things have fallen apart in recent times. We've come to understand with the instrument of power you can subjugate, marginalize, suppress a particular region or even uh, expose them to the possibility of being uh, going into extinction with the instrumentality of power, absolute power indeed, corrupt absolutely. That is the experience of, uh, we are having within this country and the uh, people's uh, political uh, op opinion or expressions uh, are different. Some are no longer uh, interested in the construction of state called Nigeria. And uh, it's becoming uh, a, 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 a common political opinion expressed by the masses. I mean, the, by masses, I mean the majority of the people who, of course, uh, across the southwestern region are calling for uh, uh, the World Republic. The South Eastern Legion are calling for, you know, the Biafra already, restoration of the Biafra state. The Middle Biafras are not left out with this uh, sustained agitation for self-preservation, uh, for self-determination. Then where do we go from here? If all the entire regions are calling for self-recognition, self-determination, invariably we don't have a country and uh, Nigeria is no more. It is just a mere geographical expression as uh, been said by the next surge uh, in person of uh, 
chief of Bafemi Awolowo, which is becoming more real, more uh, it becoming a reality as it stands now. And uh, having said that, what is the way forward? If the North deem it necessary or claim that they are born to rule, then it's better they make their position known. Let them uh, call or recall their, of course, their representatives and the Senate and members and uh, address them on the fundamental issue that they will never give uh, any opportunity to the South to rule. By so doing, let them call for their own separate states where they will have more opportunity to rule without being opposed, without being intimidated, cajoled, harassed, or threatened by any other region. I think that would be better for them so that they will be have a better opportunity to renegotiate their common existence within the southern, I mean the northern region, so that whatever is their grievances, whatever that is prompting them to to be bickering or to to have such level of the satisfaction on the southern people expressing their rights to also rule or govern the states will die out naturally. That is my position at a stance now. And uh, it's very unfortunate that uh, the, we are yet to see the worst because the more Nigeria remains as an entity, the more chances we stand uh, of being destroyed, the more chances, the more gloomy the future becomes, and the more uncertain the political sphere, uh, of course, becomes. And it's very unfortunate. It is it won't engender prosperity. Of course, the fabrics of our existence has been fast eroded, and uh, nobody could trust any other region. And uh, we cannot at this time entrust our destiny of the destiny of our, our people in the hands of the northern people who have shown repeatedly that they never meant the interest or well-being of our southern people. But the question is, how long could this uh, position be maintained by the southern people, knowing full well that, of course, there are some political uh, elites within the southern region that could, of course, want to betray the cause of the southern people at their own uh, selfish or political gains. What do we do at this time? What are the ways to chart? How do we chart the way forward? How do we ensure that the every average northern uh, southern political elite comes to know uh, the position uh, that is upheld by the generality of the people from the southern region of this country? People are no longer interested with this system. And how do you ensure that even though if a southern uh, extortion produces the president of Nigeria comes the year 2023, that the this uh, constitution will allow the person to to govern effectively. You see, the fundamental question is that our problem, the problem of this country, is a constitution which is not a reflection of the people's will. It is written or drafted or scripted by the by the military. Yes, it's a military constitution handed over to the people by Abdul Salam, uh, Abdul Salam Abu Bakr, who handed over to civilian rule. They drafted the constitution in favor of the northern oligarchies or northern people, which of course it does not in any way represent or capture the uh, consensus or the interests of the masses. So this constitution should not only be abolished, should be tossed out and the way forward should be chart, uh, defined for the people. Of course, unfortunately, the northern people 
are not interested in renegotiating uh, the common existence of this country or of the ethnic nationalities that forms the Nigerian state. And uh, they have often, uh, of course, uh, uh, oppose any move to restructure or to convene a sovereign conference where issues that borders on the welfare and the assistance of uh, the ethnic nationalities could be ironed out and the grievances brought to fall before the table and discuss the way forward. And this, of course, is a threat to the nothing uh, democracy and especially as it has to do with the uh, sub Africa region. Nigeria is the acclaimed the big brother Africa, but unfortunately we are nowhere to be found in terms of economy, in terms of uh, good governance, in terms of uh, equity and promoting or uh, respecting people's or uh, citizens' rights of expression and uh, rights of movement. How long shall this go? Is what we cannot say at this time. How far can we move with this, uh, continue with this first system? Of course, invariably, Nigeria, in no doubt, is a first system because it has failed with its primary objective or responsibility, obligation to protect the life of her own people, her own citizens, or to provide solutions to the nagging internal crisis that is, of course, uh, eating up the entire region that has become a daily threat to, of course, the existence of uh, a particular region, especially the southern people. Of course, the north Southern uh, people are not left out with this uh, uh, level of uh, casualties regarded on daily basis. But which way forward Nigeria is a fundamental question. Do we continue in this level of deception? Do we continue in this level of denial? Why we watch our women and children being killed, hacked to death? The young ones are not left uh, 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 are not left out of even the aged ones are becoming victim of this orchestrated uh, genocide sponsored by some political uh, 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 oligarchies who are power drunk, drunken or power driven. Unfortunately, this question will be starting at us, and heaven will not fall if Nigeria cease to remain as an entity. Will heaven fall if the Biafrans leave this succeed from this country? That is the fundamental question. If truly heaven will not fall, if a northern assertion emerges as the president of Nigeria comes 2023. Likewise, invariably, heaven will not fall should the Biafran states be restored and Odudua having their own nation. That is where I may want to rest my arguments at this time. See you next time. No, don't forget, thumbs up, like, uh, subscribe to this channel, where we'll bring you uh, more interesting uh, episodes uh, in subsequent edition. Thank you, I remain Chigozie, the anchor of Chigozie Crystal TV. Do have a great day. Bye.